All right. So, uh, how can I help you? Let's say you said you're a non-Muslim. What are okay, you? A Christian? So, or... Yes. Go ahead. Uh, yeah, I'm currently a Christian. Uh, it's a little bit complicated to explain my position right now because I need to accept that uh, a year ago, uh, mainly because of your videos and all that stuff, I I started uh, I started studying religion because I really think it's a, a really important subject to have into account because it's the way to of salvation, and I and for a time I consider Islam to be the truth because of many of your arguments mainly and all that stuff. But with the time I changed my point of view and I reverted to Christianism because I think I found some clarity on many of the things I have, uh, some confessions and all that stuff. And I wanted to share it with you. I mean, I, I like to have a discussion, as you say, I like to teach some, th some things and maybe learn some things from you. Okay, you've, uh, confessions is a very strong word. Well, let me, let me just ask this question. So you're saying you came back to okay. Christianity because Christianity is the truth. Uh -huh. Is that a claim you're making? And Christianity yeah, has no uh, issues. Yeah. Um, right and now, it's perfect. Yes. Sorry? So I, I has think no so. Issues. I think so. I, 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 I understand your point of views and I consider them uh, valid. Uh, and I consider them strong because I used to think as you think. Uh, but later, I mean, I did took my shahad and i did live like a muslim some months but not, but after that um after studying a lot of things and understanding some other things i i i regained the clarity i i lost uh, from christianity because it's uh it's a tough religion it's a tough point of view uh but yeah uh, all right what type of christianity I, I, yeah, what type of Christianity what? do you sorry. believe in now? Uh, Catholicism, sorry, sorry for now. Okay. Uh, but I like to know how, how can I call him like Mohammed or Ali? Yeah, yeah, how, that's how is fine. it? That's okay. Fine. That's fine. So so you Mohammed, you're okay. you're uh, you're uh, you believe in the Trinity essentially. Yeah, you yeah, found yeah. clarity in the Trinity. I like right? to that's what you're saying now. Yep. Yeah. And and it's nice because it's one of the things I I like to uh, share with you because I consider I consider that you are sincere. Yeah, I I I um I consider myself sincere. I am someone that uh, likes to. I mean, I don't care of on being right or wrong. I like the truth. You know, I like getting the point. I like thinking I'm getting the, the way of salvation. It's it's the only thing that matters okay. to me. So and let, I like let's to, get to the point. Let's get to the point there. Yeah. Get into the point. Uh, okay. You found clarity in the Trinity. Can you tell us what is the Trinity? Okay. I'm interested. Let me explain it with an analogy. Let's say, let's suppose Can you the explain Quran it without an analogy? Trip. Can you explain it without okay. an analogy? Can you explain I, it I'm first? I'm going to explain it first. Yeah, yeah. I don't yeah. want to. I don't want to hold you. Explain it first, and then give the analogy. That's okay. Fine. But first, explain it, and then give the analogy. Thank you. That uh, Trinity mainly explains that. There's only one God, but that uh, can, uh, like this one, uh, how you say this in English, it can be present in three different personalities, but it shares the same objectives, the same, this one, uh, points of views, and uh, they have different roles. Let's say it like that. So so uh, what do you, what's people, the difference between a person different. and a being? What's the difference between a person and a being? Okay. Um, a difference between a person and people, um, according to English, one is plural and the other one is singular. But what I'm mainly trying to say, okay, uh, yes. is that I mean, uh -huh. it's one being. It's like uh -huh. a, a team. It's something I didn't really understand, but with the time, I I get it. Okay, let's say. Uh, I mean, it's it's really better with an analogy. Maybe I can explain the analogy, and you're you're a smart man. Maybe you can help me get an explanation in base of the analogy. Okay, so that? let's first agree that you're not able to explain what the Trinity is. If you call it a team, that's incorrect. It's hard. If, if, yeah, yeah. Uh, let's agree first. You're not able to explain what the Trinity, the Trinity is, which has zero clarity. And you a minute ago you were telling us how you found clarity. But I would yeah. like to hear your 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 analogy, anyways. Let's see if it's going to give us the clarity. Uh, you're looking for. I, I, I also ahead. need to accept English is not my mother mother language, so 
yeah, yeah, yeah. So it's a little bit hard to do it as well. Okay, you let's know, look, go with this. Look, look. You say, so let's you say suppose after that me, the Quran has only three chapters. Okay. No, no, I'm just saying, if you say after me, God is yeah, yeah. one, you can say Sorry? that. In, it doesn't matter how broken your English is. When you say God is one, like the Quran okay, says, yeah. everyone will understand. This is what is called clarity. But now I'll, yeah. I'll let you now yeah, yeah, yeah. go with your with your analogy. Go ahead. Yeah, it's completely valid. Um, completely, I completely agree with you, yeah. Okay, let's go with this. Let's say that the Quran has only three chapters. Is chapter one the same as chapter two? Maybe no. not. But they have a different message, but they are the same Quran. You know what I mean? I mean, chapter well, two chapter is not the is same not as chapter, chapter two. two. Okay, so chapter one is not the same as chapter two. We agree. Yeah, but they are so still they, the Quran. So they're not the same, though. So they both yeah, fit they in a category. The so they, are... they both fit. Okay, okay, let's agree. They both fit in a category, but they're different. Let's say, for yeah. instance, me, I'm a human, you're a human. We fit in the human category, but we're different people. Yeah, absolutely. Okay, so you're trying to say the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit fit in the category of God, but they're different. Yeah. So we have God one, God yep. two, God three. They're all gods. They fit in the ca category of God, but they're different. So we have three it, gods. It, it is perfect. Just like we have okay. two, three chapters, we have three gods. How many chapters do we have? Is it one um, or is it two? When you say chapter three and chapter two, is it two chapters or one chapter? Uh, there, there are three chapters. Is what I'm trying to say. Okay. I mean, Excellent. it's like a, a little bit complex, but I, I think the analogy is pretty clear. Or maybe. There's another thing that I would like to explain. The analogy, uh, no, no, the, I, ana the analogy, the analogy okay. is clear. The analogy is clear that there is three gods. Okay. All of them fit the category of God, but there's still three gods. Uh -huh. So I, I, I think the analogy is perfect. So we have three gods. Politics. Uh, <laughs> I, I'd say it's a good point, but maybe we, there's a little bit of misconception in here. I mean, let's let's say it like this and. Let's explain it with another. Can Jesus be God? Yeah, I think Jesus can be God. And it's easy for him to be God. I mean, because either he also has the attributes of the Father, and maybe you can say, you can argue that maybe God needs to be, needs to know everything, needs to be all powerful and all that stuff. But, uh, it's not exactly like that because let's say uh, they I, I'm, I'm are sorry the same God. I'm sorry, but, yeah. I, but I lost you. I'm still trying to understand what the Trinity is because now we spoke about Jesus being God. I'm still trying to understand the clarity of the Trinity. Okay, okay. If you can help me with that. It's it's a bit hard to explain. Yeah, I need to accept that. I need to give it to you. It's hard to explain and it's hard to get it. Uh, because you are arguing they are the same gods. Is it, cl but, is it but clear like, or hard to get? I mean, many people they say that it's a mystery, but I don't think it's a mystery. It's just um, understanding it. I mean, uh, the humans are rational, rational people, and I think we have the capacity to understand what the Trinity is, even if it's not part of our, our reality. I mean, I, I, I believe this is my claim. Not because something is not real doesn't mean it doesn't exist. That's what I'm saying. Okay. I, I, I mean, I mean, again, can you tell me again? I need to can you tell me again why is it Trinity? Because I'm still waiting for that. You just, you just told me yeah. now that something. You just said a, a you, bunch of, of different words. Do you like numbers? Okay. Uh -huh. Sorry? Okay. Do you like numbers? Do I like numbers? I, I'm not, I'm trying do, to I don't like them. I don't like them. I don't hate them. Numbers are just numbers for me. Yeah. Okay. Numbers. I like numbers. them when it comes okay. to the Trinity. What I, like to... I, I like them when it comes to the Trinity. Okay. One plus one plus one equals three. Okay, I like okay. it. That part I like. I'm not going to lie. Okay. Yes. Okay. What about one times one times one equals one? And? That makes sense. Okay, no, but in, what in, happens in real, life, in real life, you cannot times objects with one another. You can only do that hypothetically. Uh, How can I times an object with another object? One with one. No, How can you times point. one? No, no, no. It's you cannot times point. one with one in reality, but, right? You can only do it hypothetically in abstract. Yeah. In real life, that doesn't happen. Point. 
mathematics are things that happen in our brain. We're, we completely agree with that. But let's put it in another, in another way. What happens if you add an apple and a pear? You don't get two, two things. I mean, you get pair. one apple and one pear. No, but you, you get can, two things. Two things. Algebra. One thing is an one thing is an apple and one thing is a pear. You get two things. Yeah. Exactly. That's two things. Not but one. what about the salad? Let's say you have a salad with lettuce, with tomato, and with onion. Let's say. You, okay. Onion is not the same thing as the tomato, but if you take okay. the onion out of the Again, salad, we're coming back to the same example. Be, uh, that's the same. That's the same example yeah. as the chapters. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I already agreed with you. I said if this is yeah, the yeah, analogy yeah, you want, if if the tomato is completely separate from an onion and is completely different than an onion, but it just shares the category of salad. Mm -hmm. uh, God, one God yeah. A, Jesus, and one God, another God B, the Father. They're both gods, completely different. But they just share the category of God. No problem. We have two gods or three gods. What's the problem? But they are in the same salad. I mean, you you let's say for example. No, no. In John, I'll tell you why your argument doesn't that... work. Because you claim that tomato okay, okay. is the onion. That is the Trinity. The Trinity is to say the tomato is the onion. They don't just share the salad, which is God. Also, the tomato is the onion. That is the, the Trinity. That, that's why whichever analogy no. you try to bring um, is not going to fit because it has zero logic. So try to to use logic is just the last thing you could do when it comes to the Trinity. <laughs> I, I mean, but I'll tell you something. The, the last discussion, really the last few minutes, the last few minutes we have yeah. is the furthest thing away from clarity. I don't think you even understand okay, what the okay. Trinity is, with all due respect. I I think I have it in my mind. I mean, I have the clarity in my mind, but I'm not expressing it well. That that's the thing. And it's sad. It's sad because I need to accept it. Uh, I think I have the clarity, and I need to share the clarity. But I, but I'm not. I'm not this one achieving it. So it's it's unfortunate. Okay. So okay. we agreed that there is no clarity then. If Augustine himself yeah, yeah, did yeah, not yeah, know, I, understand I, the Trinity, and and he had an issue with it, and he's one of your main church fathers. Let alone you understanding a trinity and explaining it. If if it was clear, nobody would be confused mm -hmm. about it and asking and having yeah. tens of heresies that you have, partialism, modalism. They were not gonna have all of that if it was clear. It's the furthest things away from clear. And it's something I, I really need to accept from you that yeah, it has to be something that you have said in many occasions that is that many times. I, I mean, each time you ask someone what the Trinity is, everyone gives you a different explanation. So it's it's yeah. completely true. But like the I salad is a new example. It's not a matter of. Uh -huh. Sorry. I said the salad and the chapters is a new a new example. So it's, it's something. It's a new example. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, but the, but the God a, salad. Um, God salad. Huh. Okay. 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 Um. Well, it, it's. Uh, I feel, yeah, I feel a little bit sad because, yeah, I'm not being clear. I need to accept it, yeah. But All right, so, so let's agree. Uh, something... Okay, so, so we agree so far there's no clarity, okay. Let's see the second part of, the, of your beliefs, yeah. if there's clarity or not. You believe Jesus is God, correct? Yep. Did Jesus ever say clearly, I am God? No. Okay, so there's no clarity in that part as well. No clarity, right. no word for word, he didn't say it, yeah. Yeah, so there's no clarity there as well. So there's no explicit statements, which are definition of clear. There's no clarity there at all. Okay, do you know what is the oldest manuscript of your... Uh, do, you do you have any original, uh, when it comes to the Bible, the, the writings of the Bible, the original writings? Do you have any original preserved? You know, it's something I really wanted to... I uh, have prepared for this uh, meeting because I would really wanted to have uh, to have it with you to have this discussion with you, and I think there are some manuscripts, many of them in Greek, about the uh, the Gospels and all that stuff. And in this case, in talking about the about let's say the Dead Sea Scrolls and all that stuff, but I I, I wanted I would like to have this discussion with maybe some better preparation i mean because i think i have the information so what, i mean what is the answer? i have the access to the information but i didn't prepare for it. 
So what is the, the answer? Uh, you have an original okay. right now. I need to. From the time right now, I, have, I don't have them. Yeah. Okay, I'll give you the answer. The answer is no. There's no original okay. uh, writings carbon dated mm -hmm. to the time. It's none, zero. Nothing from the first yeah. century. Okay. So there is no clarity. That's there. that's the information you have. Okay. So no, no, that that is a fact. You can just right now do a research. You file the earliest manuscript you have is called the P fifty two. This the fragment. It's not a manuscript. The fragment and as big as a okay. card. It's called the P fifty two. The earliest full manuscript you have is the Codex Sinaiticus, okay. which is dates to the first uh, fourth century, four hundred years later, and then the Codex Vaticanus after it. This these are the two first. It's not uh, my opinion and always just something I'm saying. This, this is objective reality. Now, so okay. there is no clarity there as well. Okay. So which where is the clarity that you find uh, found again? I'm just trying to find where is the clarity that you found. How many books is, are in the Bible? How many how many books are in the Bible that you believe in? Yeah, that's another point. Many people say there's this much books and so it's not clarity there. Say well. this much. Yeah, yeah, I need to accept that too. Uh -huh. Okay, so, so where is the clarity there's again? No clarity. Remind me. Yes, there's no clarity. Yes, where is and the clarity then? Uh -huh. um, I think. Uh, let's let's put it in these terms. This one, this is what happens. I can't I can't win a debate with you. I need to accept that. I'm just you know, I'm not debating. I'm honestly not debating you. I just asked you questions. Yeah, 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 yeah. Like, I, I'm not yeah, even yeah, debating yeah. you. Uh, yes. I'm just asking yeah, you yeah, some yeah, questions. It's a good point. I, I don't consider this. We're, we're, we're just sharing talks. Yeah. Yes, yes. But for example, I cannot win a debate with, let's say, I don't know, other people that uh, defend Christianity and they have also really good arguments. I mean, if I put myself, uh, let's say, I begin to compare my Christian arguments and my Muslim arguments, I mean, we're going to have a discussion and in the end of the day, the Christian arguments are going to overcome the Muslim arguments. That's that's what I'm like trying to been, do. Like, like they've been doing for the last 15 minutes? Zero clarity? Is that how the no, uh, Christian argument depends over the Muslim arguments? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, it's really easy for you to say it. But for example, if I were having the same discussion, but let's say with or someone else, I I, I, I think you shouldn't mention like people's, other Islam. people's names. Generally, whoever okay, these people are, sorry. shouldn't be mentioning giving sorry. free clout to, to unknown individuals here. So the thing yeah, is, yeah. It's, it's a very simple thing. It's not about who debates what. You said you've become a Christian. You should know uh -huh. what you believe. When you die on the day of judgment, no one else is not going to stand in uh -huh. front of you. They're not going to be hammer standing there in front of you uh, instead of you and, and you know, uh, saying, okay, oh God, I'm responsible for what Jose believes and I'm going to respond. <laughs> you're responsible for what you believe. Yeah. You're responsible for what you believe. And if you're responsible for what you believe, you don't even know what you believe, then that should be the issue that you should think about. Instead of, of, of your argument is called appealing to authority. That's that's the argument okay. you're making. It's a fallacy. It's a logical fallacy is what you're doing. Oh, if X person is there, he's going to be able... If, if an X person is there, he's going to be able to respond. That's just a hypothetical scenario. It's a logical fallacy. You've got no arguments yeah. to present. You've, you've admitted yourself there's no clarity mm -hmm. in Christianity, even though you yeah, started yeah, your yeah. discussion by saying that, that Christianity is clear. I don't know what else to do for you. Yeah. I'm sorry, man. I'm sorry. I need to say... I think to apologize for I, I guess there was no really good... And I, I, I appreciate your time and your clarity. I mean, I think uh, you... I, I believe your... Your causes, your wills are sincere, and I really believe you're trying to help people with what you know, and that's something I really appreciate. All right, no problem. So, maybe, so I'll, I'll, okay, I'll tell maybe you to do, we to can do have this same discussion in another day, maybe with a. Uh... <laughs> yeah, there's a delay, as I said. So I hope, like, like, uh, yeah, Sorry? because it could be interrupting you, could be interrupting me, could be just because of the delay. The thing is, look, I, I, I think, clarity. Yeah, go ahead, go ahead. What do you want to say? No, 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 no. I think it's the thing of the delay. Yeah. Yes. Okay. So, so clarity is what the Quran says. Quran chapter one hundred and twelve of the Quran. It says, "Is only one God." Say, Allah is uniquely one. Allah is independent, self-sufficient. Everything depends on Allah. He doesn't depend on anyone. 
He doesn't have children. He doesn't have parents. There is nothing like onto him. This is what clarity is. Clarity is the message of Islam that Allah sends you guidance that is relevant to your time uh, as revelation, the Quran, and he sends you prophets and messengers uh, one after the, after the other to guide you to the creator, to bring you to the belief there is one creator worthy of worship and that this life is a test. There will be one day that you will, be, you will die and you will be held accountable for the actions that you do in this life. And that is the test that you live in. This is what clarity is. So I would invite you back to that clarity and I'll tell you to do a little bit more research because there's zero clarity in Christianity. Christianity and, and clarity yeah, are right. like two words that cannot be combined in one sentence, you know, with all the respect. So I'll, I'll, I'll <laughs> recommend you do a bit more research and actually do a bit more investigation. And then perhaps uh, you realize the mistake that you've committed, uh, whatever mistake that you claim, and, uh, without even verifying whether you accepted Islam. That's just a claim. No one can prove that. You just said it yourself. No one can prove whether you ever accepted Islam or not. But whether you did or not, you can realize yourself, you come back to the truth, you realize if you did leave it, uh, that, that you've been fooled by these uh, for sure, for sure. Uh, weak arguments that you're talking about. All right, anyways, I'll let you go for a second because there's quite a few people in the backstage. All right. Thank you, Muhammad. Yeah, thank you so much.